is definitely one of the kingpins of video game industry. And the reason why is because there is absolutely no game out there that could compete against the quality that Grand Theft Auto games has been achieving for all these years. Now, we all know it. And of course, Rockstar Games definitely knows it. But guess what? It seems like things are finally about to change. There is a new game in town, and it seems like this is finally going to be the one game that actually stands a chance in order to being the competition to Grand Theft Auto series. Now, of course, this does not mean that this game is going to be beating GTA 6 or GTA 5 or whatever, but it's definitely going to be one of those games which is going to stand in there as a huge competition. And over the years, it might even develop into something that we never expected. Now, as we know, Rockstar Games is always one of the best when it comes to video game developers out there in the industry. And there has been numerous amount of developers and publishers that tried to compete against Grand Theft Auto games, and none of them actually succeeded or even came close to what GTA games have represented. Now, even Ubisoft came up with an open world modern generation Watch Dogs game. And the Watch Dogs series, however, was compared the most when it comes to Grand Theft Auto games. And we all, of course, know that Watch Dogs is not even close to what the quality of Grand Theft Auto games could achieve. But what if I said there is a new game in town, and the reason why this game is now considered as the final competition to Grand Theft Auto series is because this game is actually developed by the same person who initially created Grand Theft Auto game. Yes, I'm talking about Leslie Benzies, the mastermind behind why we even have Grand Theft Auto games at this point. Now, without this dude, there is no GTA at all. So you kind of get an idea of who he is and what his current mission of making a new game is all about. Now, a couple of years ago, during the GTA 5 time, Leslie Benzies decided to quit from Rockstar Games and start his own company where he had the full freedom in order to develop game that had no limitations and no restrictions that he was already getting with Rockstar Games and take to Interactive being the parent company. And they had a lot of different rules and laws, which kind of took away a lot of creativity that Leslie Benzies had in order to make Grand Theft Auto games much better in his opinion. But later on, Leslie Benzies came out of Rockstar Games and he created his own game development studio named Build a Rocket Boy. Now, these guys are actually developing what is known to be one of the most ambitious gaming projects in history of video games. And just a couple days ago, Leslie Benzies made this official announcement of his upcoming brand new game, which is supposed to be a rival to the Grand Theft Auto series. Now, keep this in mind that Leslie Benzies was heavily inspired with his own Grand Theft Auto games, and he wanted to create something that was a little bit different, but at the same time had a lot of taste like GTA games. And now Leslie Benzies has come up with this brand new game called Mind's Eye. And we now have some official in-game screenshots of how the game basically looks. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at all the screenshots here. As you can see, this is supposed to be the new protagonist that we're going to be playing as in the game. And this is supposed to be an open world game as far as what I've looked into it. Now, a lot of people have been saying that the main protagonist, he kind of resembles the protagonist from Mafia 3 Link in Clay. And the reason why is most probably because they're using the same voice actor for this game as well. We never know. And moving on to the next screenshot, we see a couple of heavily armed guys. We don't know if that's supposed to be the military or not. And then here we have another shot of the main protagonist. Now, as you can see, the game kind of feels like it's set in a modern and kind of a little bit in the future timeline. And the character is looking at some sort of a chip. We don't know what that means, but we'll get into further details. And here for the very first time, we take a look at the third person driving car gameplay here. And this is basically how the graphics of the game looks. And it looks incredible. I've got to say the game is still in development cycle and the reflection on the cars and the effects of particles as we drift through the road. And this game already makes me feel that this could turn out to be a game that could compete against Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, of course, it's not going to take over GTA 6 and that's not the intention of this game as well. And it's just trying to compete and be another rival to that game. So the Rockstar Games can take some feedbacks and ideas from another games. But right now, there isn't any game out there that kind of just stands a chance against Grand Theft Auto titles and I think it's really good that we are finally getting this game called Mind's Eye. Now moving up to the next screenshot we can actually take a full-on look at the main character and he looks so much like Lincoln Clay but then I kind of feel that you know his hairstyle is a bit different because in this game he's not exactly full black character but then he's kind of you know brownish. So he has this brownish hairstyle going on and we have a couple of army personals here once again on another screenshot. We can see that the main protagonist comes out of the car and he 
starts shooting at a couple of trucks and these trucks apparently seems like it belongs to the same armored guys i don't know for whatever reason i kind of feel like it's part of the army and if you look into the description of the game mind's eye is a story driven game that's an action adventure thriller that is set in a fictional near future americana the game is going to be featuring best in class cinematics high octane driving and explosive combat for legendary game director leslie benzies Man, Leslie Benzies, he's actually promoting himself as the guy who created one of the most iconic and legendary games out there, which is Grand Theft Auto series. And apparently in this game, we'll play as a character named Jacob Diaz, who's supposed to be a former soldier with a mysterious neural implant who's suffering from memory loss and flashbacks. Now, the game is set out on a series of dangerous covert missions to unlock the secret of your past in a world that's filled with persistent threats of artificial intelligence, high-tech experimentations, corporate espionage, political corruption, and an unchecked military. Now basically, Mind's Eye is supposed to be an immersive experience with a mind-bending complex narrative, which is rich of environment, groundbreaking combats, futuristic tech, and high-speed chases. Now look at this, it also mentions that this game may contain content that's not appropriate for all ages, or maybe not appropriate for viewing at work general mature content so it definitely seems like it's going to be a game that's not for kids it's a game that's intended completely only for adult audience so apparently this game is set in the near future america where we're going to be playing as a character named jacob diaz who had this neural implantation pretty much the same as what elon musk is currently doing with his neural implantation which lets you transfer your consciousness and your memory into a different body like a robotic body or something and all of that is basically done using just a chip that will be implanted inside of your mind so honestly looking at everything that's going on in current world i don't think the game is set in like a near future i think the game is the present day itself and i can't believe that i'm even saying this that neural chips you know brain chips robots and all that stuff it is finally here we are living in the future and it's finally happening and it seems like the game is no longer set in near future and rather it could be called as the present generation so in this story line jacob diaz loses his memory or his consciousness which is basically transferred into this memory chip so that's the reason why he's looking at this chip here so all of his consciousness and his memories are basically inside this chip so he's now trying to get this consciousness back and in order to do it he actually forgot everything that happened in his previous life so he's basically trying to live an entirely new life where he is trying to understand what exactly happened to him and that's basically what the whole story is all about so that is basically basically what the single player aspect of this game is going to take forward and I don't know how the multiplayer version of this game is going to be working because the devs currently they haven't given us any proper information about the multiplayer version but there is a whole entire multiplayer universe that build a rocket boy is currently developing and rather than saying it's a video game I would say that they are developing something called as a video game metaverse and this metaverse they decided to name it as everywhere so everywhere is basically this artificial world which has a bunch of different video games that are like combined together and all of these different video games are now going to be considered as different realms that you as players will be able to walk through and play different types of games in this one central hub so it's basically like a metaverse and if you guys have seen this movie called ready player one then you probably know what i'm talking about because you can use this virtual reality headsets and you can travel from one realm where you're racing all the way to another realm where you're just playing a shooter game and you are experiencing each and everything and you can also travel to another realm where you're basically doing puzzles or battle royals and all that stuff or you can even travel to another realm where you're playing mind's eye which is a gta competition so the possibility for everywhere is basically endless and that's kind of the vision that you know everywhere is trying to get and a couple of months ago the devs actually took a look at the video that i made about everywhere and they got in touch with me and they said that they really loved what I did with that video and all the information that I provided in that video about this game and they even gave me some more information about what they are planning to do with everywhere and it seems like it's extremely ambitious game nothing like we've ever seen so far and even Ubisoft is trying something similar with Assassin's Creed Infinity which is kind of like a hub but then that game is only focusing on Assassin's Creed titles so it's basically like a platform where you're like releasing multiple Assassin's Creed games but everywhere is 
is not the same. This one is actually combining all the different games where you're going to be traveling from one realm to another realm to another realm all the way inside the game. And I don't know how it's going to be supporting with virtual realities and all that stuff. And if at all we get some sort of a new virtual reality, you know, headsets or maybe, you know, gaming suits, then I think, you know, Ready Player One video game is not too far away before it turns into reality. So as far as what they've shown off and this new multiverse, the types of games that they have shown off so far is going to be racing, FPS shooter games, exploration, open world games, and basic full on action arcade games. And there is also space traveling games where you can explore outer space and all that stuff. So all the things that you need in video games are available all in one freaking game. And that's just insane. I don't know how it's going to be working. I don't know what kind of concepts and what kind of most ambitious ideas that everywhere is coming up with. And I've got to say, man, Leslie Benzies, this dude is just going absolutely nuts with the kind of ideas that he's bringing on the table with the all new multiverse project that he's trying to build for video games. So apparently we don't have an exact release date for this game. I think it's still far away from launch, but still it's not very far away because we are getting GTA 6 and I think they're going to be launching this right after GTA 6. I don't think it's going to be coming out before GTA 6 because they want fans to explore and enjoy GTA 6. So it's very much going to get compared with GTA 6. Nonetheless, GTA 6 is still going to be one of the best games out there. That is absolutely of no doubt. But still, I think this one is going to be a good competition and a competition that was really needed for Rockstar Games, which could help bring out better developers and better games for us gamers in the future. Now, Mind's Eye and Everywhere is actually coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, PC, as well as in the mobile version in the future as we move on to iPhone 16 Pros and iPhone 17s. Mobile gaming industry is definitely growing and I think every good games are also going to be launching on mobile versions as well. So let me know down below in the comments what do you guys think about all the things that we've spoken about in this video. Do you think that it's a good idea that Everywhere and Mind's Eye is finally coming and it's actually going to be a game that will be compared to GTA 6 even if it doesn't defeat GTA 6 or if it's not going to be much better than GTA 6 at least it's something that's competing with GTA 6 and it's also being developed from the guy who created Grand Theft Auto games. So we already know that it's going to be great and I just can't wait to see what Build the Rocket Boy Studios have in store for us in coming future. Now of course I will keep you guys updated if you get any further information about this game right here on this channel. So make sure to go ahead stay tuned by simply just subscribing to the channel and turning your notifications on and setting your notification settings to all. So that way you guys can always stay updated with all the latest content that I upload every single day for you guys that covers all the upcoming news and updates and leaks and information about upcoming open world games then this channel is your number one source i always make sure to keep all of my subscribers up to date with everything that you guys need about gaming and all the information about technology and basically everything that's related to gaming so that's what you're getting in a full package of subscribing to this channel so the best part is it's absolutely free on youtube to do it now with that being said if you guys did go on and enjoy this video you can always take a few seconds of your valuable time leave your feedbacks in the comments I read them, I reply to as many of you guys as I possibly can. And also please fans, don't forget to go ahead, drop a like on this video because your like and support, it really goes a long way. It helps the channel a lot more than you guys think. It kind of just keeps me motivated in order to bring out better content for you guys. So I would really appreciate it if you guys could just go ahead, show your boys some love. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Until then, take it easy fans and goodbye.